our singletons will be meeting at this lovely manor house. With its beautiful gardens, it makes the perfect romantic location. So, without further ado, let's meet our lovely ladies. Hi, I'm Catherine from Ashford. Hi, I'm Arul from Manor Park. Hi, I'm Sarah from Watford. We've set up the perfect location for our speed dating. The couples will be having a romantic picnic in the grounds of the manor house, complete with strawberries, bubbly and chocolates. We've got our ladies and our romantic location, so it's time to meet the boys, who come with a catch. What the girls don't know is that our boys are actors and that they've been given specific character traits to incorporate into their rapport during the dates. Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm date A and I'm going to be using dating techniques. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm date B and I'm going to be Mr. Average Normal Nice Guy. I'm Oliver. I'm going to be date C and I'm going to be as sleazy as I can. As the boys take their places, remember they are each playing a specific role so that we can find out what kind of behaviour, conversation and social attributes are most attractive to a potential date. Date A will be using dating techniques to try and get the best of himself across to the girls. Look out for his use of open body language and leaning back to show confidence and control. He'll also tease his dates to show a playful, flirty attitude. So you look all sweet and everything on top, but secretly you're a bit of a bad girl. Date B will be playing the neutral role, neither flirting nor acting disinterested. And date C is our bad boy of dating. He'll act overconfident. You have a nice figure, by the way. He'll be happy to lie in an attempt to show high social value. Because, like I said, I write and I produce. OK, then. Um, you know, TV shows and films as well, so I'm, I'm in America quite a bit. And he'll treat his dates mean, but will it keep them keen? I'd like to ideally set up my own theatre company. <laughs> OK. <laughs> right. um, yeah, something... An original idea. <laughs> To keep things simple, we're going to focus on one of our guys at a time and see how they get on with the three girls. Let's start with date A. So, uh, what do you do for a living, sir? Uh, I'm just about to go and start studying directing. Directing? Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, do you like bossing people around then? <laughs> yeah. What sort of uh, music and stuff do you like? I Are you into, uh, like, dancey stuff and whatever? Oh, uh, yeah. Like to shake your booty? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> definitely. So tell me, what are the top three things you look for in a guy? Top three things I look for in a guy. Has to have a good sense of humour. That's a given. Intelligent. Check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a year out. Do yeah. a bit of travelling or something. Yeah, I want to go to Australia. And... Same here. Oh, really? Australia's a wicked place to go. Yeah. A bit I of want... an adventure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, wicked. Oh. Uh, I think our time's almost up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, that was Mr A. Was his open body language, innuendo and confidence enough for him to win a date? Well, we'll find out later. But now, for date B. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. I'm Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Nice to meet you. Tell me about yourself, then. Short and snappy. In a sentence, um, fun-loving, easy-going guy. I would say help yourself, but, like, they've had their way with them. Well, you know, apparently, like, flies and wasps, they, like, stir up on their food before they eat it. <sighs> That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. So what sort of uh, direction do you want to do? Like uh, Stage. Stage? Yeah. Oh, wicked. <laughs> How about you? What are you up to? Uh, I currently work in a the theatre. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's oh, okay. good. Yeah. Would you like comedy or drama? Um, musicals. Oh, musicals. <laughs> right. I like anything Mel Brooks. Have you ever heard of Young Frankenstein? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen it's in the producers. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Time's oh. up. <laughs> Was Mr B's take-me-as-I-am relaxed attitude a winner with the girls? We'll find out soon. But now it's time for our no holds barred bad boy, Mr. C. Hiya. Hi. What's your name? I'm Oliver. Oliver, I'm, I'm Catherine. Nice Catherine. to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Do you want to kind of come and sit a little bit closer? <laughs> okay then. Fine. I don't know, there's a little bit of distance there. Isn't it? Okay. So, so how do you want to greet each other? Just a shake of the hand yeah. or something? Yeah. We'll start with shake that. <laughs> a little kiss on the cheek. Oh, I see. You're quick. Yeah. Hello. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not you nice. You just poured yourself, but you didn't ask me. Well, I, I was getting to that. I was oh getting God. to that. I was just so, I was just so enraptured. Okay. By your presence. Okay. Well, well styled out. 
you like to travel. I like to travel. I've traveled quite a bit, actually. OK, where, where have you been? My, my work kind of takes me all over the world, really. OK. Uh, particularly in America. I, I both write and produce um, various projects in TV and film. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. That is interesting. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm just about to go and start studying uh, directing. All right, OK. Are you good at it? Of course I am. I'll be confident, yes. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Uh -huh. that, was, that was a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go, good girl. <laughs> See you later. Oh my. So, will Mr C's overconfident, space-invading, treat-em-mean-but-keep-em-keen attitude be a winner? Well, let's find out. <laughs>